All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another video. Now, the Mario movie came out recently, and it's already gotten over $500 million and a 96% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. And when a movie does that well, there's bound to be a sequel. But a lot of us want to know one thing, and that is, what'll happen in this sequel? Well, we can never know for sure, but we can always try to predict the story. And who could make a more interesting story than ChatGPT? So, that's why we'll be asking ChatGPT to predict the next Mario movie. So, let's get started. Okay, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that there are going to be some spoilers for the Mario movie. So if you have not seen the Mario movie, you might want to go see that and then watch the video. Okay, let's get started for real this time. Okay guys, so I have pasted the Wikipedia summary for the Mario movie into this text document. And what we're going to be doing is adding to this. This is a short summary since this is a summary, but I'm going to try and make it longer so ChatGPT's prediction is as accurate as possible. I'm just going to put in the little details or some of the little details that the summary missed. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys when I've put in everything and made it longer. Alright guys, so I have made the summary a lot longer. It's not really a summary anymore, it's more of like a description of the plot because it's too long to be a summary. It's like two or three times longer than the original summary. Anyways, we're gonna be feeding this into ChatGPT and asking it to write a sequel, so let's go boot up ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. Okay guys, so I've fed the plot into ChatGPT. I'm basically telling it, hey, a Mario movie came out in 2023, you probably haven't heard of it. Its knowledge is limited to 2021, so it's not gonna have heard of a Mario movie, but I'm basically just letting it know that it happened and telling it what happened in this movie. So, anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking this send button and we're going to see what it comes up with. Three, two, one, click. And after around 30 seconds, ChatGPT finished generating the script. It says, sure, I can give it a shot. Here's a sequel to the Mario movie. But before we get into that, real quick, just wanted to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you're enjoying so far since it helps out a lot. That's all I wanted to say, just wanted to make this quick. Okay, let's get into ChatGPT's response. After defeating Bowser in the previous movie, Mario and Luigi have become beloved heroes in the Mushroom Kingdom. They continue to run their successful plumbing business in Brooklyn, but are frequently called upon by Princess Peach to help with any issues that arise in the Mushroom Kingdom. One day, Peach contacts Mario and Luigi with alarming news. Bowser has returned and is once again causing chaos. <laughs> this time, he's teamed up with the mysterious Magic Koopa, who has been using her powerful magic to wreak havoc across the kingdom. Let's Mario and Luigi okay. immediately set off for the Mushroom Kingdom, ready to take on Bowser and Magic Koopa. Along the way, they encounter new allies, including a friendly toad named Toadette and a mischievous Yoshi named Yoshiro. Together, they traverse the Mushroom Kingdom, battling their way through Bowser's minions and thwarting Magic Koopa's magical attacks. As they get closer to Bowser's castle, Mario and Luigi start to realize that something is different this time. Bowser seems more powerful than ever before, and his minions are more numerous and well-organized. The brothers begin to suspect that Bowser has found a new source of power, one that is giving him an unfair advantage. 
Eventually, Mario and Luigi reach Bowser's castle and confront the king of the Koopas and his partner in crime. Bowser reveals that he has indeed found a new source of power, the Chaos Emeralds. Somehow. These mystical gems have the power to grant any wish, and Bowser plans to use them to finally defeat Mario and take over the Mushroom Kingdom once and for all. A fierce battle ensues, with Mario and Luigi teaming up to take on Bowser and Magic Koopa. With the help of Toadette and Yoshiro, they manage to knock the Chaos Emeralds out of Bowser's hands, sending them flying across the Mushroom Kingdom. Bowser and Magic Koopa are defeated, and peace is restored to the Mushroom Kingdom once again. As a reward for their heroism, Princess Peach grants Mario and Luigi a special gift, a trip to the distant planet of Moldy's, home of Sonic the Hedgehog. There, they meet Sonic and his friends, and team up with them to stop the evil Dr. Eggman from taking over the planet. Along the way, they discover a powerful new form of energy called the Chaos Energy, which has the power to warp reality itself. Together, Mario, Luigi, and Sonic must protect Mobius from Dr. Eggman's scheme and prevent the Chaos Energy from falling into the wrong hands. The adventure takes Mario and Luigi to new heights as they navigate the perilous landscapes of Mobius and battle Eggman's robotic army. Along the way, they make new friends and allies and learn valuable lessons about teamwork, bravery, and the power of friendship, of course. In the end, they defeat Eggman and his minion and return to the Mushroom Kingdom as heroes once again. And who knows what new adventures await them in the future. Okay, here are my thoughts on ChatGPT's sequel. I thought that it was really weird. The plot started out pretty good, but it went downhill from there, and by the Sonic part, everything had basically just descended into madness. It was really entertaining to read though, so I'll give it that. And in case you want my rating, I'll give it a 4 out of 10 as a movie, and a 2 out of 10 as a Mario movie. Still, that's a long way from where AI used to be, since, like, five years ago, AI stories were basically just fever dreams. But, what did you guys think of ChatGPT's sequel? You can let me know in the comments below. Anyways, this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed, and cue the outro.